He's the boss. She's become bossy. He's assertive and confident. She's seen as aggressive. There's something called the double bind paradox, which says that as men rise in rank and status at work, they retain and often increase their perceived likability. So the question this morning, how can women project status and authority in order to advance, but also maintain a likable and caring demeanor? Our career expert, Kim McNicholas, joins us this morning with body language expert, Carol Goman, with the answer. Good morning. Good morning, Marty. Thank you so much for being here, Carol. Um, it's really disconcerting, you know, what Marty was, was saying. The more powerful you are as a woman, the less liked you are. And we have amazingly powerful women yeah. out here in Silicon Valley. Are they liked? Or how can they be liked better? Well, you know, the good news comes from Stanford. Thank God, you know, <laughs> there's hope. <laughs> and they found that women can be confident and assertive. But those same women, if they also understand how to also become warm and empathetic when the situation mm. requires it, they actually get more promotions than other women and then even the men in their organizations. So it's really key to be both powerful and empathetic. And so how does body language play in? Body language is huge in how people perceive you. So you can use your body language to actually change other people's perception of you. And of course, how you feel about yourself as well. So you can use body language to go from those confident, assertive signals mm -hmm. to warm and empathetic. And so why don't we start with the head? All right. So if you want to be confident, you want to be perceived as confident, you have to remember that body language, nonverbal signals, mm -hmm. confidence is displayed in height and in space. So you want to keep your head high. Okay. Everybody changes their posture. I do. Every time, every time you come in, I always change my posture. I'm like, that. wait, I need to sit up. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to put your ears over your shoulders. You don't want to let okay. your chin go forward or back. That's status and power. Now, when you want to portray empathy, like when someone's talking to you and you want to make them know that you're really listening, right. you just tilt your head slightly. Okay. Much more empathetic, much warmer. What about all the, a lot of women sit there and they nod their heads yeah. as men are talking. Yeah, now here's the problem with that. We nod our head like bobblehead dolls. Yes. Women tend to and nod. And I'm doing it now. Yeah, well, I know, we both are. <laughs> men nod when they agree with you. Yes. Women nod all the time. So it can be confusing. If a man only nods when he's agreeing and he sees a woman nodding in order to encourage him to continue speaking, right. he may think, oh, she already's on board with this idea. So you just want to watch that, that we have a tendency to over nod. So head straight and tilt when you want to be empathetic. Yeah. What about hand gestures? Well, warmth and candor and empathy are displayed by kind of sweeping gestures where you show the palms of your hands okay. at about a 45 degree angle. But when you want to be seen as more confident, you want to bring those gestures down and in, right around your waist, and things like at a very important point that you want to make a steeple or your hand turned down. It's like, hold that thought. But you know, with the steeple, I see that a lot. I see a lot of reporters actually I doing that. I know. All the time. It, isn't, isn't, it, isn't it overused? It's very much overused. So again, only at that important part. If you do your whole presentation like this, you're going to look like a big phony. Oh, yeah, yeah. But if you have something that's key to say, and you've done all sorts of other gestures while you're you know, talking, and you say, and here's the most important thing I want you to remember, that will be a, a very powerful at that time. So just being strategic. What about overall body posture when sitting up? Oh, well, posture is, <laughs> is my favorite <laughs> because here's what happens. Let me show you. Well, your legs are already crossed. Yes. So I want you to cross your legs. I want you to keep your hands almost the way they were in these little n nice tight things. Your elbows right into your waist. Round your shoulders slightly so you concave your chest okay. a little bit. And now I want you to say, I'm powerful and confident. I am powerful and confident. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it doesn't really even come out. There's no support here. Yeah, it doesn't resonate. And people looking at that body posture would not believe no matter what you said. They would take a look at that posture and think powerless and vulnerable. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. So how do you actually look more confident? I would imagine that, as my mom has always told me, I know my mom's watching, sit up straight, put your shoulders back. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> good work, mom. Yeah, you want to keep your shoulders back. And if you're seated where it's comfortable to do so, you want to uncross your legs so you can put your feet flat on the floor. Now, we can't do that here. But when you put your feet flat on the floor, you actually ground yourself so that you, you sit up straight, you keep your posture straight, you keep your gestures, your hands on the table. And by the way, if you are seated, 
seated at a conference table and you have something important to say, stand up when you say it. Because just for that moment, you'll gain instant status because you'll be the tallest person in the room. You know, but I was on a panel uh, speaking to an audience the other day and they asked us to all introduce ourselves and everybody was, you know, for the most part, was sitting down as they were announcing themselves except for one person who said, um, I'm actually just going to stand up for this. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, and see, it that's awkward. It is awkward, and that is not empathy and warmth. Now, if you want to display confidence, which that wouldn't have been appropriate in that situation, by the way, because what you want to do on a panel is say, we're all equal, we're all here. Okay. She wanted to say at the same height as people. And then when someone's speaking, if you really want them to know they're being heard, you want to orient your feet, your knees, your hips, and your shoulders okay. toward that person. That'll make them feel very special. Thank you so much. Carol, Kinsey, Gohm, we really appreciate you being here. I have learned so much, and hopefully I'm, I'm sitting up now. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, are you sitting up? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, I'm paying a lot more attention to how I'm sitting. Thank you so much, Kim and Carol.